up everyone, Kawhi Ku here to react to the final episode of the time I got reincarnated as a slime. Season 1, last episode where we left off. We saw all, all the kids, like, being empowered by the spirits and, like, the dwelling spirits. We got introduced to, like, both, like, the inferior spirits and the superior spirits. Three of them were empowered by, like, or, like, it's, like, imbued or whatever by inferior spirits. And two of them by, I'm assuming, superior spirits. Well, I mean, we know that Ken was empowered by a superior spirit. But Chloe, on the other hand, was empowered by something else. Because we saw this, I guess, this, this woman in a white dress and a veil. Who I'm, I'm assuming is like a spirit. She starts flying around. She kisses Rimuru. And then she... It ha inhabits Chloe. So, yeah, I'm not sure what was really going on there. I guess that's still a mystery. I'm assuming that's, like, something to do with, like, I guess, like, a future version of Chloe. That's kind of what I got from it. Still not too sure, and I don't think... They're probably not going to reveal that. They're, they're probably not going to re reveal that until, like, maybe, I don't know, Season 2 or maybe, like, a later installment. But hopefully, Chloe, nothing bad happens to Chloe. So, yeah. So I'm assuming from all of that, the kids are now going to be able to live a long and happy life. They won't have to, you know, they won't have to die anytime soon. They will eventually grow into adulthood. That's pretty much the last we see of the kids because Rimuru, uh, you know, has to leave and go back to the JTF, back to his kingdom. And it looks like episode 23 was actually supposed to be like, technically the final episode because we saw like a recap. We saw Rimuru like reflecting up on everything that happened. We saw him, you know, basically going from being in the real world to dying to being reincarnated into this world as a slime and all the things that happened after that. So, yeah, it was a really nice little recap as he was, we see him looking at Shizu's mask and all that. We also got introduced to another character who, like, this dude with, like, the black hair and, like, the black eyes, like, real devious-looking motherfucker. So I'm definitely interesting, interested, eh, interested in seeing what he's all about. So, yeah. Other than that, without further ado, let's move on to this, I guess, technically an extra episode. So, yeah, other than that, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, here we go. The final episode of Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime Season 1. Holy moly. Now, apparently, this is like an extra episode. And the series technically ended in episode 23. Oh, what are, what are you summoning a demon? Oh, that's what we saw back in the last episode. Who, who is she griefing with? Oh. Okay, well. Well, since this is the last time we're going to get this OP, I might as well just sit through it one last time. 
as I usually do when it comes to the last episode of an anime I react to. So is this going to be like a new villain that's probably going to play a main role in the uh, in season two? I'm assuming so. Yeah, I'm assuming this is like a new villain, and then they're just introducing him now. Hmm. Ah, this is a dope OP, isn't it? Yeah, who, who, who was that? Yeah, there's, a, there's, some, there's some characters that we didn't see in this season that were showing this OP. Oh, that girl with the, the white angel wings behind Milam. And we still have yet to see who that mask character was about back in the Dwelling Spirits. Oh, Shizu! Man, what was the last time we've heard Shizu's voice? Oh yeah, back in episode 8? It's been a long time. For reasons, for obvious reasons, of course. Ooh. Okay, so that's who those two were. Hmm. Oh, they don't have a say in the matter. What's the name?
Hmm, okay. Well, I guess for now I'll just call him Black Eyed Dude. Because he has, what's it called, Black Scalera? <laughs> yeah, you out of here, all right. What the hell? So this dude was a demon this entire time? Ah, uh, okay. Among us. That's definitely the laugh of a demon. He's right there. He's been here this whole time. What? Or I slaughter everyone here because he is a demon. Oh. Well, that works too, since Kuro means black. Very basic name for a demon, though. <laughs> you really think you could use flames against a conqueror of flames? Okay, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, we got them Freddy Krueger claws. Oh, this is... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God.
Good thing this... Good thing this building isn't flammable. Or too flammable. Oh boy. How is it hard to believe? I thought his evil intentions very, made it very clear that he was a demon from the start. I thought that's been very obvious. His arm! What?! Time compression? Whoa, whoa, what is this about time compression? Well, are you running away? Oh. Well, it makes sense. He can't die this early. This is just a flashback, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, they just did. Oh, gotta keep an eye on him. Luring here into the dark, creepy ass dungeon. Lured in by someone you don't even know. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh. 
Damn. A whole kingdom ruled by the demon and nobody even knew it. Until now, of course. Yeah, good luck trying to get it. Hey, oh, maybe. So are those other two guys, are they like... Are they demons too, or... They're just like... Puppets made to serve... Made to serve them. Oh my god, that's str- That's swagger! That demon swagger! <laughs> The exaggerated swagger of a filthwood king. Oh, demon versus demon? <laughs> Damn. And he did it all with one hand. Are you sure about that? Not great enough, apparently. <laughs> okay. A demon hunting other demons. Yes. Oh my god! Holy shit. Well, goddamn. Well, this is an unlikely alliance. Or unexpected, I should say.
Damn. So if he... See, now I'm wondering, maybe his role as a villain, maybe that's not so clear-cut. Maybe he isn't going to be a villain. Of course, that doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be a hero or a protagonist, just because he just so happened to save Shizu that one time. Yeah, I don't know what his role's going to be, but either way, I'm looking forward to seeing more of him. Oh, shit. Summon my Rimuru? Oh. Diablo. Eldora's journal. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Well, that's it. That was the, I guess, the extra final, whatever you want to call it, episode of the Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, season one. So, as usual, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to start off with my thoughts on just this episode, and then afterwards, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on to what I think about this season as a whole. So, uh, what I think about this episode overall, um, very interesting. A very interesting final or extra episode. We got to see more of Shizu, which is nice, because um, especially considering the fact that it's been a while. And we got a great introduction to Kuro as well. Even though we saw a glimpse of him back in the last episode, we got to see what he's truly about in this episode. We saw that fight with Shizu. We saw him annihilating those other demons, especially Orthos. Like, oh my gosh. The action in this episode was really good as well, I must say. The studio did a great job with the action. And yeah, like I said, I'm definitely wondering what role he's going to play in what I'm assuming is his next appearance in Season 2. Or whatever it is I have to watch after this. Because, especially after learning that Rimuru summoned him. They didn't just bump into each other. And Diablo didn't just like, you know, walk into the JTF one day. No. Rimuru summoned him. Now, for what purpose? I don't know. I'm just going to have to find out. But yeah, either way, I'm very interested in Kuro, and I'm very interested in seeing um, what Season 2 will have in store. But other than that, um, yeah, it's a great, very enjoyable extra episode. And, yeah, I would definitely say that Episode 23 was a better way well, I mean, yeah, it is a better way to end season one considering the fact that I guess it is technically that was the final, uh, that was the final episode, the season one finale. But still, this is also a great way to end off as well considering the fact, you know, it sets up Kuro and possibly his role in the next season. As for what I think about season one as a whole, um, you know, I wouldn't so far, I wouldn't say time I got reincarnated as a slime is like one of the best isekai out there um I mean it's pretty good I mean I wouldn't say it's like revolutionary or like masterpiece or anything but it's it's a fairly enjoyable isekai series um I mean I feel like also I also feel like this series kind of like pioneered uh, like all the other reincarnation isekai anime that falls afterwards. Like, this was kind of like, this is definitely, it, it definitely seemed like this was like the first one, maybe not the first one, but one of the most popular examples. Like, an, an early example. Like, I guess, I feel like it, this show became popular before it, this trope really became a thing. Of course, this, this could be also just my dumbass, just, Say, taking shit out of my ass uh talking shit out of my ass but anyways um yeah like i said this is a so far season one was pretty enjoyable we got the rimuru he's a pretty likable very op protagonist 
And we got lots of, lots of other likable characters as well, like Xion, Benimaru, uh, the, the other ogre, Soe, uh, Gabimaru to an extent, Gopta, um, Gopta, Kaijin, Vesta, all those good. Ranga, the good boy. Yeah, lots of good characters in the JTF as well. And I feel like this series really just excels when it comes to the world building. Like you get to learn a lot about like the world and the JTF, how Rimuru, you know, builds his t his his kingdom, how he builds these relationships with all the people he meets. That's pretty entertaining. The action's pretty damn good as well. Um, but however, I feel like what this series, like many other isekais, it really just excels in the world building. But there are some other great stuff as well. As what I think about the cons, um, like I say, it's not the most, I mean, it's not the best isekai I've seen. It's not the most exciting isekai I've seen. Yes, there's some good action scenes here and there. But it's not something that I would put on a high pedestal or something like I would rewatch time and time again. Um, and there were just some times where I did feel like this show would have been better if I had watched this on my own time. But, however, I would, I'll still keep doing reaction to this. Um, I mean, I have to, that's probably like the only, because that's probably the only way I can finish this series. Um... But yeah, I mean, overall, pretty decent, pretty decent first season, and I'm definitely interested in seeing the, how season two and the other installments in this series compares. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys next time.